This is a big question. How do we actually get the children through this? The important thing is to put the children first. I mean, really put them first. Uh, there's an awful lot of hot air spoken that we, of course, we only want the best thing for our children. As soon as people start talking about the money, they forget what's, what's best for the children. So the first bit of advice I would give is sort out the children first. Sort out the children before you start talking about money. And if you can do that, then they genuinely will be at the centre of things. Crucial that you don't put them at the centre of a dispute. Uh, if children are aware that they are being argued about, it will be disastrous for them. If, people, if, if children feel that their parents uh, are, don't trust each other, that, that they have to say one thing to one parent and another thing to another parent, the trust is gone and you have lost that child. That child will then not be able to talk comfortably to both parents. That child will not be able to say, I really miss dad to mum and have those intimate conversations. And if the child has lost that, then the child has lost a very great deal. That sounds like a perfect world, but what happens if the other side doesn't play ball? I mean, the classic, uh, the classic formula is mum's in charge of the kids, dad's in charge of the money, you give me the money or you don't see the children. That is the worst possible thing for everybody and absolutely the worst thing for the children. Um, try to sort things out. Uh, if, if it is a really difficult problem, go to mediation. Mediation is a fantastic place because the, it will be a refereed discussion and mediators are usually very experienced in sorting out these sort of problems. They will encourage both parents to talk openly and constructively. Hopefully that's the right way forward. The courts are there if there's a real uh, a completely intractable problem but please don't go to the courts it is expensive and even if you're doing it yourself it's a horrible process to be involved in and it will polarize your family forever so who actually gets uh, gets custody and access to the children and how does that all work okay well there's there's no such thing anymore as custody or access um, what we have now is is concepts of parental responsibility so both parents are responsible for the children both of them can, t can take decisions for the children. That's really important. Um, you can uh, talk about residence uh, and contact, but really we should be thinking in terms of joint parenting rather than how we salami slice the children's time. Uh, if you start going down those sort of routes, you're thinking that their time is, belongs to me and I have a right to that time. That's not how parenting should work. It's uh, joint parenting. The children both need, uh, both children in, in, a, in, a, in your average family need a relationship with both parents. It is, the right, it is the right of the child to see both parents, the right of the child to have a really healthy relationship with both of those parents, and that's what's important. But why wouldn't it be better to go to court and actually get your, your access rights enshrined by a court? Having a decision imposed on you as a parent as in finance, is, is not going to work terribly well. If you're told what you can get, it will feel like a shoe that's going to pinch forever, and that will always be uncomfortable. Far better, I mean, you've both brought this child into the world, it's very important that you carry on taking decisions jointly for that child. So important for that child to know that both parents are working uh, for the benefit of the child. That's the really most important thing think about the child, put the child first. There's some really good parenting workshops around. Uh, there are some, there's lots of good information that can help parents to think about uh, what is best for their child. Different children of different ages see things differently. Look at it from their point of view. Put yourself, really, really put yourself in their shoes. It doesn't have to be bloodshed.